Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Azure Active Directory. If you're watching this series from the beginning, we have discussed what is Azure Active Directory, how to add custom domain in Azure AD tenant, how to add company branding to the sign-in page of your Azure Active Directory tenant, how to manage users and groups from Azure Active Directory portal and using Azure AD PowerShell commands, we have discussed what is security defaults and Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication. We talked about privileged identity management. I demonstrated you practically how to set up and configure privileged identity management. And we have discussed group-based licensing. In this particular video, we will be talking about self-service password reset or SSPR. We will discuss what is self-service password reset, how it works, what are the prerequisites for using self-service password reset feature. I will demonstrate you how to set up self-service password reset, how an end user can change or reset their passwords using self-service password reset feature. And then we will talk about self-service password reset audit logs. If we go by definition, self-service password reset is a feature of Azure Active Directory that gives your users the ability to change or reset their password without the intervention of an administrator. When self-service password reset is enabled in your tenant, if a user's account is locked or he has forgot his password, he can change or reset the password himself. Users will not be contacting the administrators to get their passwords changed. If you talk about the key benefits of enabling self-service password reset, it reduces IT support cost by enabling users to reset their own passwords. It also reduces the cost of time that is lost due to the password change and account lockout. It provides one-time user registration process that allows users to reset their passwords and unblock their accounts from any device or from any location. Self-service password reset enables enterprises to access the security and flexibility that a cloud platform provides. Administrators can change settings to accommodate new security requirements and they can roll out these changes to the users without affecting their sign-ins. With the help of audit logs, we can track the password reset activities. In audit logs, we can track how many users are resetting their passwords, whether password reset was successful, was it failed, why it was failed, what are the most common methods that users or admins use to reset their passwords, or is there any suspicious activity going on with password reset? Now, what are the prerequisites for using self-service password reset? In order to use self-service password reset in Azure Active Directory, you need Azure Active Directory Premium P1 license. And each user who wants to use the features of self-service password reset require Azure Active Directory P1 license. Now let's understand the flow of self-service password reset or how self-service password reset works in the background. When a user tries to change or reset his password using SSPR portal or self-service password reset portal, the first thing that is validated by Azure platform is whether self-service password reset is enabled for this user or not. If self-service password reset is not enabled, the user will be asked to contact his administrator. And if SSPR is enabled in Azure Active Directory tenant, Azure platform will check if the user has set the authentication methods or not. If authentication methods are not set by the user, he will be asked to contact his administrator. And if authentication methods are set, Azure platform will check where are the user passwords managed whether these passwords are managed in Azure Active Directory or these are managed in on-premise Active Directory. That means whether the users are directly hosted in Azure Active Directory or your passwords are stored in on-premise Active Directory and you have deployed Azure AD Connect. If passwords are managed in Azure Active Directory, the user will be able to change or reset his password. 
and if passwords are managed in on-premise Active Directory, Azure Platform will check if password writeback is enabled in your tenant or not. If password writeback is not enabled in your tenant, user will be asked to contact his administrator. And if password writeback is enabled, users will be able to change or reset his password. So this is how self-service password reset works in the background. So now let's move towards our lab and let me show you how you can set up and configure self-service password reset in Azure Active Directory. To enable self-service password reset, you will go to Azure Active Directory and then you will go to password reset. On properties page, you can select if self-service password should be enabled for all the users or you want to enable self-service password reset for a set of users. For example, if you have a group where you have added the members or the users and you want to enable self-service password reset feature only to those users. If you do not want to enable it for any user, you can simply click on none. All means all the users in your tenant and selected will be the selected users or a set of users. So for this demo, I will create one security group and then I will add a couple of users in that security group. I will name this security group as SSPR and in members, I will add user B. Let me add a few more users, user A as well. Click on select and let's create this security group. Now, in the meantime, let me show you the user experience without self-service password reset. Let's go to portal.office.com or you can access any application of Microsoft 365 or Azure. And here, let's try to log in with one of my users in my tenant. For example, let me use user A. Now let's say I do not know the password of this account. So I'll type a random password and I'll click sign in. And I should get an error that says your account or password is incorrect. So now if I try to reset my password, I should get an error. Let me enter this capture. So it says you can't reset your own password because password reset is not properly set up for your organization. We haven't enabled SSPR yet in our tenant. So that is the reason this user is not able to reset his own password. So let's enable SSPR and then we will see the user experience for the same user. Let's go back to Azure Active Directory and let's verify the group. So the group is created with the name SSPR and we have two members, user A, user B. So to enable self-service password reset, you will go to password reset. As we discussed, you can select selected or all as per your business requirement. For this demo, I'm going to enable this feature for a set of users. So I'll select the security group and click on save. So this feature is enabled in this tenant. And next is authentication methods. Under authentication methods, you can select the authentication methods that should be prompted to the users while resetting or changing their passwords. You can select either one authentication method or you can select two authentication methods. And whatever authentication method you will select here, users will have to set these authentication methods at their end before they reset or change their passwords. I'll show you this practically and things will be more clear. For example, if you select mobile phone, in that case, user will have to provide his mobile number while registering himself for SSPR. So for now, I will select one method and I'll select mobile phone. Click on save. Next is registration. Under registration option, you can select whether users need to register while signing into the applications. You can either select yes or you can select no. And you can also select 
after how many days the users will have to provide their contact information. By default, this value is 180 days, but you can modify this value as per your business requirement. Once you have made the changes, you can click save. And next is notifications. Under these settings, you can set if users should receive an email notification when their passwords are changed or when an administrator changes password for another administrator, they should receive the notifications. So again, once you have made the changes, you can click on save and you can go to the next option. So next is customization. Let's say if users need more help with the SSPR process, you can customize the contact your administrator link. This link will be displayed on the SSPR registration page. So once you have made these changes as per your requirement, you can click save. As of now, I'll click on discard. On-premise integration is when you enable password write back that we're going to discuss in the next video. In that case, you need to make certain changes here. We will talk about this in the next session. So we have enabled self-service password reset on this tenant. Now the next step is the users for whom we have enabled this feature, they will have to register their contact details. So let me log in to portal.office.com with the same user, that is user B, who is part of the security group that we added in SSPR. Now, as soon as I'll hit sign in, this will ask me to provide my contact details because while enabling SSPR, we have selected mobile phone as an authentication method. So now the users will have to provide their mobile phone. So click on next. So here I will have to add a mobile number for this user. So let me add it. So now this registration process is completed. Let's click on no. And now let me log out or let me close this browser and let's try to log in again. And let's see if this user can reset his password. Let me close the browser completely. Let's log into portal.office.com with user B. Now let's type a random password. Click sign in. It says your account or password is incorrect. If you do not remember your password, reset it now. So let's enter this capture. Click on next. So now it is asking me to prove my identity. So here I will have to add my mobile number that I used while registering to SSPR. So I have verified my mobile number by adding the one time passcode that was sent to my mobile number. And now it is giving me an option to reset my password. So here I will have to enter a new password, confirm password. So it says your password has been reset. So this user has resetted his own password without even intervention of an administrator. Now, instead of clicking on reset the password, you can go to aka.ms slash SSPR. And from here also users can reset their passwords. So as an administrator, you can forward this URL to the users and users can directly go to this link and they can reset their own passwords. If you want to see self-service password reset audit logs, go to password reset and then click audit logs. On this particular screen, you can see all the logs. Those are audited for self-service password reset. You can see which user has tried resetting his password or he has tried to change his password. What was the status? Whether this was success or it got failed. If it was failed, then you can click on that particular log and you can check the status here, failure, and you can see the reason as well. Why this particular attempt for resetting the password or changing the password was failed. 
You can see the activity type, self-service password reset, flow activity progress. And if you want to check more details, you can check the UPN of the affected user who was trying to reset his password. You can see the IP address, which IP address was used to change the IP address. And you can see other details as well. So if you want, you can run this report for one month. You can run it for seven days, 24 hours, or even you can run this for a custom time interval. Like you can select the start and end date and start time and end time. And you can run this report on the basis of interval as well. Apart from that, if you want to download this particular report, you can click on download. And you can download this report in CSV format as well. So this will be an Excel file and that will be pretty easier to analyze the logs. So this is how you can check the audit logs for self-service password reset. In the next video, we will be talking about self-service password reset write back or password write back. We will discuss how does password write back work, the prerequisites for using password write back, and how to set up and configure this feature in Azure Active Directory. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.